Odo versus Zoho One. Which one is better? Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at Zoho One and I'm gonna be comparing it with Odo. And we're gonna see which one is better and which one is more effective for what reason. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, both Odo and Zoho are ERPs and they're both used for business management and you know services and they have a large number of services to offer or integrations or application whatever you want to call it uh, zoho one has over 45 i believe and odo has i think almost the same amount maybe even more i'm not really sure they have quite a lot of apps like if you come over here in the app section we can see it's quite a lot they also have some other third-party applications on top of the ones that they already offer so for example in finance human resources scales marketing uh, websites supply chain products activity all of those right all of those are available and within those different categories they have different applications so underneath websites we got website builders e-commerce blog forums live chat and e-learning whereas in zoho one they're more towards what type of service it is that you offer and then they cater those applications to you within that service but you can go ahead and add your own applications as well and you have total freedom and we're going to be taking a look at how easy it is to set everything up how easy it is to use it and how much it costs so let's get into it now i already have a free trial on zoho one so i'm just simply gonna go ahead and actually sign in and we're gonna also sign in into odo since i already have an account over there as well both are very simple to sign up and get started with so i'm gonna go ahead and move on so when you first log in into odo this is how it's gonna look like all right this is gonna be your dashboard and this is going to be your dashboard in zoho one so when i first signed up i chose project management and those are the applications that it gave me over here on the left hand side all right when you first sign up it's gonna ask you what type of work do you want it's gonna give you a bunch of different categories categories whether it's employee management finances sales project management and you can choose whichever one you want and depending on your answer it's going to go ahead and give you and install all the applications that you would possibly need same with odo it lets you select up to 10 applications for the free trial it will give you one free app forever so you can use that app forever but it also lets you choose up to nine other applications to go ahead and get started with and these are the applications that i chose right here again they have a very large number of lists or apps to choose from but these are the ones that i choose so if i go into dashboard let me actually go ahead and activate this as well but this is the dashboard for now this is going to go ahead and scan everything and give you a small little graph like a dashboard whatever this is all demo data it's not real data just wanted to point that out and in uh, zoho one it's very similar you get the analytics app and since i chose project management all my applications are catered to that so i have projects i have uh, click which is their messaging software and over here it's not opening we also have Sprint, Meetings, Work Drive, Analytics. And if I wanted to add more apps, I can just simply click on more apps over here. And here I have unassigned apps. I can click on it and I can select one of the other 38 applications that are available within Zoho One. So overall, it's a very cool system. It's easy. It's simple. I actually like Zoho One because instead of just going ahead and, you know, making everything complicated, it's very similar. Both are very simpler. I would, but for me, uh, I just feel like Zoho One is a lot simpler, right? One of the things about Odo is that they give you one application for free forever. So you can choose one of the applications and it'll be free. But the other ones, they're gonna, not going to be free. You're going to have to get the paid plan. Whereas in Zoho, there is no free stuff. There's just a free trial and that ends after one month. And then you can go ahead and buy the plan purchase it and use it so let's go ahead and compare so this is projects right this is how it looks like in projects you're going to have your projects and you can change the view to different options like gantt view or kanban view as well but for now it's over here uh i don't know where that option went but it's over here let's go ahead and take a look at projects within odo so if i click on projects uh you can see no projects as of yet let's go ahead and create one since i already have one in zoho so for this one i'll just go with office meeting we can go with timesheet either it's a billable hour and then create a project over here you can add customer and you can add people who want you want within it you can even add tasks by sending emails to different people but let's go ahead and create project 
and this is how it's going to look like so we can also change views over here we got the uh, card view the kanban the list and the calendar very similar to this one i should have a view over here i don't understand where that view is i only have two views but maybe i can just simply go into one of these projects i should i thought i did which is weird uh anyway yeah so we also have project groups public project recycle bin archives everything so here this is how it looks like and here is the stage so we're gonna set it up so first stage is let's say uh not assigned or coming up whatever you want to do or we'll just say to do actually to do over here click on next that's this one stage and next is going to be in progress and next we're gonna say completed and then you can go ahead and create another one if you want but these are going to be our stages and within the stages you can add tasks so uh, for example if i click on new button over here it's going to create a task over here you can add whatever tasks i want i can add assignees and then i can add other info same thing over here I have a project if i want to create a new project that's where you can create a new project when you create a project and you access it all you got to do is click on the access project over here like you know hover over it and it'll allow you to access that project and within that project this is how it looks like here i can go ahead and change the list to a kanban view so that we can see something similar so again very similar you have your options over here you have your priorities you've got your time sheet as timer as well and all the other options so very similar to this one. Although I will say in Zoho, you have the projects and then you have your tasks within it. You know, very similar. This one as well, you have your projects over here. Uh, let's say this one. And then if you have multiple projects, they're going to be available over here. And then you can click over there and, you know, go ahead and quickly access them. So again, very simple, very easy. Both are very similar. It all depends on your personal liking. Personally, if you already have used Zoho beforehand and if you use some of their other options or some of their other products like Zoho Mail or Zoho Creative or even Zoho Social Media Manager, then of course you would, I would rather you prefer you go with Zoho One. It's actually pretty cool. And yeah, it's very similar. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing. So if we take a look at the pricing of Odo, it's going to start at free. And then we have the standard one. Let me switch to monthly. Standard one is going to be 9 10 per user per month. And then we have custom, which is going to be 13 60 per user per month, right? And Zoho One's pricing plan it is a little bit different. So here is the pricing plan. And there's basically two options. Let me switch to monthly. So there's two options. There's the all employee pricing, which is going to be $45 per employee and per month of course and then we have flexible user pricing which is going to be 105 dollars per user per month so must purchase licenses for all employees and purchase licenses for any number of employees and you basically get access to everything that they have like everything there's no in between so that's why there isn't any features tab or anything you basically get everything and it's going to be $45, whereas in Odo, it's a lot cheaper. You get access to all applications and Odo online for $9 per user per month. And of course, you get everything. There are a few things that you don't get. Basically, if you go with the custom option, which is still cheaper, $13.60 per user per month, you get every application. You even get Odo Studio, multi-company and external APIs. So that's why there's not a whole lot of options over here. Like you can see right here, these are all the applications that you basically would get right so cost at cost with odo if you select which apps you use and which apps you don't which how many employees you have it'll give you how many it'll give you a little bit of calculation as to which application or which plan is much better for you and how much money you can save but yeah judging by the pricing of course go with odo and yeah so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time take care and goodbye